Hi, I'm Manish Sana, and today we're going to talk about the mikvah. Oh, wow! Mikvahs generally come in two sizes, human and miniature. You can usually find the smaller mikvahs outside supermarkets where they're used to immerse metal or ceramic cups, pots, or utensils, or anything else so they can be used. The large human-sized ones are, oddly enough, used for humans. Converts hop in as the final step in crossing over to the dark side. Women use it every month after their period so they can get back to doing the truffle shuffle with their husbands. And men pretty much use it whenever they want. Usually before a Sabbath or festivals or whenever they want to feel holier than thou. The mikvah is a lot like a Japanese hot spring you might see in an anime in that you have to go in naked. But uh, this will never happen because there are separate mikvahs for guys and girls in completely separate buildings. Now, all that being said, I hate the mikvah. They're full of nosy, creepy people. For example, here I am getting ready to hop in the mikvah for Rosh Hashanah. I've just gotten completely undressed when BAM! This dude is suddenly standing next to me. Hey, come here often? Off, man! Have you had any idea how creepy that sounds? And you're naked! We are naked! Two naked men should not need to talk to each other. Ah, oh, he says. I see you've got the Irish Springs there. Smells good, that stuff. What the f is this, man? You're still naked! Why are you talking to me? Why don't you come closer while you're at it? You know, you can tell me what a nice job the Mohel did on my circumcision. Or better yet, I can sit in your lap while you unbraid my payload and teach me how to get them all flowy and bouncy like yours. Then we can hold hands and skip to the mikvah together and splash each other in the water. Freak. So I leave and go into the next room where the pool is. I try to ignore the sign that uh, someone found the horrible need to put up. And I hop into the water. It's warmer than usual. Almost up to zero degrees. So I stay in for a bit. Hey. How's the water? Honestly, man, why do people insist on talking to you in the mikvah when they're naked? Does anyone else have to go through this? Or is it just me? So after I get out the water, I start to dry off. I start with my head, naturally, because I don't want to catch cold when I go outside. So. Guess the water was a little cold for you, huh? I hate the mikvah.